<laughs> well, welcome back to the channel. <sighs> Thanks for joining me today. Another little ride out. Uh, we're going to slow it down a bit. We're going to go around the local uh, the local back roads, and we're going to discuss about potentially a new bike that I could be uh, looking at or other options. So let's jump on the machine. She's all nice and spruce, nice and nice and clean. Look at the gleam on there. I love this colour. Anyway, lovely day, lovely countryside. How, how, what more could you ask for? Let's jump on. <sighs> Fire up. Wait for this car to come past and away we go. Still in, in need of a service on this uh, lovely machine, but they never never mind. It's all uh, it's all in hand. So yeah, anyway, purpose of the video today is to discuss potentially another machine that I could be looking at. Well, investing in could be the right word. Yeah, I mean, I've been looking at a lot of different models, a lot of different bikes. I can't really uh, find it difficult to decide. Thank you. I don't know what he's waiting there for. <laughs> We're going to go around some of these down some of these back roads, and uh, yeah, like I say, slow it down a little bit from usual, and uh, we'll uh, discuss what bike I have in mind and I have looked at various different models lots of different models of obviously if you're new to the channel you, you you know feel free hit that subscribe button plenty more ride outs coming plenty more reviews um, potentially more uh, potentially ride outs on on, on an, another new new model of mine but yeah I, ha I have uh, yeah I put a lot of thought into it you know which sort of uh, what sort of thing I want to go for and as I've said before I like says the man on the triple I like I'd like something a little bit different to the norm um, yeah just get across this crossroads here oh, the what a lovely day today. Absolutely glorious day. Just let a bit, let a bit of air in. But yeah, anyway, where was I? I quite fancy I mean, like I said, I've just I've kind of put a lot of thought into this and a lot of research and you might be surprised. You may not, may not have even heard of the brand, actually. Now it's got you thinking. <laughs> That's got you thinking, isn't it? So anyway, without further ado, the bike I'm looking at, potentially, I say investing in, is it's called CCM which is it stands for actually clues competition motorcycles and they've been around i think now for since 1971 i think there's a lot of his, oh, excuse me there's a lot of history within uh, you know the ccm brand it's a british brand and they are they're up in bolton they got their showroom up in bolton so there's no local independent there's no local dealers you have to order direct from there from you know CCM themselves and obviously they're not they're not cheap the bikes are in limited numbers as well so uh, hence why you know they're very they're very expensive they're hand-built actually so these bikes are actually all individually hand-built and I'll put a little picture up on the screen of uh, the the model that I'm thinking about you know purchasing potentially it's still not 100% Still need to put more thought into it, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. So it's a CCM, it's a Spitfire Six, and basically, to cut a long story short, it's a single cylinder, 600, just over 600 cc. Yeah, single, like a proper thumper. I think it's about 50, just over 50 brake horsepower. So it's not going to be, uh, 
you know, an amazingly fast motorcycle, far from it. But that's not what I'm after. I'm after, you know, going back to the traditional motorcycle. There's no auto blipper, there's no quick shifter, there's no rider modes, nothing like that, no. It's pure back to basics motorcycling. It's a B-road scratcher. Slow down a bit. It's a B-road scratcher of a bike. And that's what I'm after. I mean, yeah, they're not going to be cheap. They're not cheap. They're hard to get hold of. They're very unique. I'm not too sure how reliable they are. I'd, I'd, I'd yet to uh, have that, you know, to find that out. Although a lot of the, uh, you know, what I've seen so far, they're, they're re relatively reliable. I mean, they are a single cylinder, so a completely different uh, style of riding, you know, on the bike. Um, but I just like, what I like about them, I've been looking at them for a long while, and what I do like about them, and I've still not seen one in the flesh. And, I, you know, I've not rode one, I've not test rode one, and generally every bike that I that I've bought in the past, I've been out and I've test rode without 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 a doubt, of course you would. But what what would there be in such a lack of well there isn't any dealers, independent dealers uh, anywhere. They'd like I say they're based up in Bolton so you have to go either go there and have a look and or maybe to one of the the bike shows which I haven't managed to get to this uh, this year or last year end of last year so yeah I'm kind of torn between the idea and they are like I say they come in limited numbers so I think the model that I'm looking at the Spitfire 6 there's I think I might be wrong but I think there's 300 there's only 300 of them made so they're gonna it's a very rare uh, limited edition motorcycle I think the bobber they made they've made uh, I think it might be 500 or whatever with the, the bobber I mean they're all kind of based they've got the same similar frame you know it's the same engine which is a Husqvarna engine you know, like I say they're not built for speed they're not built for that I mean it'll probably top out 100 miles an hour with your head down and your ass up <laughs> But you know, it's not it's not the idea really. It's probably not the cheapest to insure either. Um, it's probably more expensive to insure than this Triumph. But well, but I yeah, I am interested, and I am gonna I am gonna put a lot you know a lot more research into it. A lot of traffic down this back road today. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, the service intervals on on the on the bike is I think it's three and a half thousand mile, so it's not got a massive service. It's it's not a massive service interval, but when you look at say the likes of um, most bikes now, they they. But you look at this one, ten thousand mile, all the year, whatever comes soon, and that does annoy me a little bit. That side of things, because. A year's gone before you know it. You may have only done 100, 200 mile, whatever. Or even a 1,000 mile. So I don't really quite under, fully understand that. Within a year. Or, you know. So I'm not really too concerned about with the likes of this bike, you know. The fact that I've owned this bike a year and a half. Yeah, it's due a service. Um, which, will, which will generally be just oil and filter. Lots of flies about. <coughs> And, you know, I can't really warrant, so I don't, you know, I don't really do massive amounts of mileage on this machine. But, yeah, anyway, CCM, back to CCM, they are a British brand. They've been around since, I'm pretty sure, 1971. Uh, I may be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. And if, another, another thing is if, if, you've owned a CCM or, or you know your thoughts give me your thoughts in the comments below I'll be interested to know what you think about this you know let me know what you think do you like the look of the bike um, do you own one have you had any problems with one if you do own one I'll be interested to know I really would 
leave you know leave a comment below I'll try and get back to you all uh, you know I get a lot of comments through every day and I, I try and get back to as many as I can so uh, I, I do acknowledge all of the comments and there is like a little feature where you can hit hit a, a heart like sort of like a like if you if you know what I mean so uh, I do acknowledge all of the all of the comments so they're, they're value very valued I, like, I do like reading the comments so keep them coming what a lovely village here lovely village here lovely thatched roof as well on some of these properties here So yeah, I'll definitely you know I'm definitely interested to know your thoughts on uh, on what you think to the the idea of this the CCM. You know, the issue you have as well that I've that I've noticed is the fact that they're not a, they're not a cheap bike. They're not they're not a cheap bike in in both ways. They're not cheaply made. They're very good quality from what I've seen, and what I've heard, and what I've read. And they're also not very cheap to buy. That's if you can get hold of one. Uh, there is there is a few about, um, but they don't seem to be much cheaper than than you know ordering one from from the factory if you can get a hold of one. So they're very bespoke. You know they're 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 built to your so you can spec the bikes out as well to you know to your your kind of your spec really as well. And I know you can do a lot of that on other other brands, but. You can choose different colours, colour schemes and different colour frames, different colour fuel tanks, different colour wheels, spoked wheels, aluminium, you know, billet components and aluminium wheels. And I, I like all that. I like all that side of it. I do, I do like the idea of it. It's very appealing. I mean, yeah. It's not going to be as smooth as riding a, th uh, a three-cylinder or, uh, or an inline four, or of course it isn't. But it's all more to do with the, you know, the actual experience of the the CCM, the ride. You know, I seem like I'm selling it to myself here. <laughs> That's why I'm interested to know your comments below. In, I'm interested to know. Another thing is with them, uh, CCM, they've actually got a mobile kind of service team. You actually can come out to your, to your, to your house and uh, service the bike. Do any upgrades on the bike or... Um, recalls or any, you know, anything like that, anything warranty. You get a two year warranty with a new, new model as well. I'm sure I've swallowed a fly. <coughs> That's one of the downsides about coming out down these little farm-like track roads, if you know what I mean. Lots of flies. They end up inside your helmet. And if you're unlucky, down your throat. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> uh, plenty of protein there. But yeah, let me know. I, mean, I am interested to know your thoughts on it. Um, there is some other models that I'm looking into as well. But I don't actually think that they're as special, if you like. It's probably the, the you know, I don't know if that's the right word, but as special as the, you know, the CCM. The Clues Competition Motorcycle. Or Machine, I'm not sure what it stands for. Clues is the, the comp... Uh, the, um, you know the name, the name of the uh, the owners. It's a bit. It's a family-run organisation. Got this this scenery here. It's one of the perks of living out in this uh, coastal vi coastal um, village here. Villages. Absolutely lovely today.
lovely church there. Another lovely village here. Runham. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, consider subscribing. Hit that old subscribe button. Be much appreciated to, for, to have you along. And uh so plenty more bike content coming, ride outs, reviews, come along with me on my journey to pick up to find my new machine. <laughs> Actually a windmill over there look, never, never noticed that before, that's what I'm saying, you don't notice things until you come out on a motorcycle and enjoy the scenery and the wind and the airflow and the fresh air, you don't get that in a car. It's not that I don't have a car, of course I've got a car, but every opportunity I'm out on this bike. So yeah, take care and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. See ya!